everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my June update for Pan Those Eyeshadows. This was a project created by Alexi and I am playing along with Eleni. I know Ruth has joined this, Haley, uh, there's probably a couple other people and I will try to remember to have everybody linked in the description box down below. Um, this is basically, Eleni created 100 different prompts and we are choosing our eyeshadows that way rather than just randomizing um, shades or palettes. So I have a pan. <laughs> I have a pan. I have a pan. Can you believe that? Like a for real, honest to God, hit pan in a mat even. I know, who am I? So let's take a look at my current color story. This is Proxima from Lethal Classic from the um, Glam Light Dirty Martini. This is Confection from the Glam Light Red Velvet Cupcake. This is Ripe from the BH Avocado Toast Palette, and this is Sapphire, and this is a single from JD Glow. So, let's start with what has been in here the longest. What was the prompt for this? I don't remember. I actually don't remember what the prompt for this one was, but this I, is classic from my Dirty Martini palette. This has been in here the longest so far. As of the last update, I've used this 13 times. I've used it seven more times? Five, Misty. Five more times for a total of 18. I am going um, 25 or to hit pan. I will insert some footage. I'm making really good progress on that. It has a pretty decent dip. Anytime you see me wear a blue eye look or sometimes even a green eye look, classic is involved somehow. It's a really beautiful color. I mean, you can see it right there and I absolutely love it. It is what's blended out on my under eye today and I like it. So yeah, so this is stain and I have seven more uses. Next is the Lethal Proxima. This was for duochrome or multi-chrome. Again, my goal is to hit pan. <laughs> As of the last update, I've used this four times. I've used it four more times for a total of eight. So you can see that the actual logo is starting to wear away. And I don't know when or if I'll hit pan in this one before the 25 uses, but I'm not in any rush. It's a beautiful topper shade. It really goes on top of anything. And anytime I've done like a really pinky look, I've put that on top and I absolutely love it. It's like the icing on top of the cake or the frosting whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I, I've really enjoyed that shade and I'm not in any hurry to finish it. So yeah, we'll keep going. Next, I rolled in my Glam Light Red Velvet Cake, Red Velvet Cupcake Palette. And this was for something you want to pan. And I picked the shade Confection. And as of the last update, I had used it uh, two times. <laughs> I've used it six more times for a total of eight. And I hit ban. Now I did have use on this palette before I rolled it in. I wasn't counting uses at the time, so I literally have no idea. But with classic, I have been tracking uses since it was since it was brand new. So hopefully that'll give us a good idea um, of how many uses it takes to hit a pan in a glam life shadow. So this is currently now my pan that palette. So since confection is rolling out. Um, I will work on it in my Pan That Palette series. So this is this is our one rollout this week. Next, <laughs> what, what am I doing? <laughs> Next we have the JD Glow in Sapphire. This was for an indie shadow. Um, I've used it one time. <laughs> and again, 25 uses or pan, so this is definitely staying in. Um, I've been doing way more turquoise blue or turquoise and green looks than I have been doing blue looks, but I have a couple more um, couple more shades in my uh, margarita palette for my project level up that need some love. So I know that I'll get some of that done for sure. And then last but not least, I rolled in this. Um, I picked the color ripe again. I don't remember. I did an awful job. Um, oh, pop culture reference and avocado toast to me is a bit hipster pop culture. So my goal is to use this 25 times again or hit pan. I've used it three times. <laughs> you can't even tell. Again, I'll insert a close-up picture or something. So yeah, so this was our current color story. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Pretty Random. 
I have one through, where, let me delete the one I've done, and that's what I've been doing, I've just been deleting uh, the ones I've done. Um, she has a, a master list, and again, everything is linked down below. Okay, so we have one through 78, and if I get something I'm already working on, we will reroll. All right, so we're just doing one. 43, 43 is shadow that starts with D. Okay. Um, that was a little difficult. <laughs> I didn't realize, I didn't realize how hard that would be, especially since I really wanted a mat. So against my better judgment, <laughs> I'm bringing in this. This is the Paradise Island palette from Nomad. So um, I think Haley, Leah, and I have kind of gone back and forth about Nomad and each other's um, comment section. It's not that Nomad is bad. It's just it's very underwhelming. Like as much hype as it gets, it just feels like it's very underwhelming. Anyway, I'm going to be working on a matte, and I'm going to be working on the shade Dolphin, which is this blue right here. Here is everything swatched out. <laughs> so definitely kind of a what I have on kind of color scheme. Um, I, did I try to hit a matte? Yeah, it was, but it was a satin, and I honestly think this is a matte matte. It swatches like a matte matte. And I do want to go ahead and get some more use out of this palette. And um, yeah, so it's a beautiful color scheme. You guys know I'm trying to keep it bright this time of year as we get closer to fall. I mean, we haven't even hit the first day of June. I mean, the first day of summer yet, right? So, but as we get like into like September, mid-September, I'll start transitioning to more kind of like fall light, cooler, warmer colors. But as of right now, I'm still in very much in bright and vibrant and happy kind of colors. So yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out everybody else that's doing this project. Um, again, I will have the the people I know who are doing um, doing this along with Lainey in the description box down below. If you are and I don't have your information, please let me know in the comments so I can add you. Let me know what your favorite color is that I'm working on. Are you working on mattes or shimmers? I, um, if you missed it, I had an emergency eyeshadow meeting and I added in 13 more shades to my um, Beauty A to Z. And I'm wearing two of them today. <laughs> Both of the ones on my lid are from that. So this was requested by Andrea, who is pretty as a peacock. She wanted me to see, wanted me to use On the Rocks, which is in my inner corner, and then Jelly on the outer, like mid outer. So I absolutely love this look. This is actually how I hit pan and confection. It's what's um, kind of in my crease um, transition area. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have. Can, uh, blah, 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 um, oh, my dang. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and following me over on Instagram. Um, I hope you have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. Nomad Cosmetics.